Father, thank you. Because when we call, you hear. You not only hear, you answer. Thank you for having journeyed with us since Friday in this uh, great meeting. I ask that this morning as we bring to a summary, as we tie together the instructions you've been giving us since Friday, that your word will be sharp again in our hearts. You didn't say amen. Say amen. amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. amen. God bless you. Be seated. Hallelujah. I want to thank the Lord who has helped us thus far. Who in his mercies have sent us his word in this meeting. I give him all the praise. I thank again the men of God that God is using to keep his work in this chapel, in this church moving. The venerable, the canon, the reverence, uh, all the workers and the executive bodies, the young people's leaders and the choir people who have contributed in one way or the other to the success of this meeting, you will not lose your reward. In Jesus' name. Let me begin again from John chapter 8. John chapter 8 verse 12. Turn your Bibles to John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. We have journeyed quite a long way to arrive at this junction since Friday. Our theme is talking about reflecting the light of God in a broken world. And I started by talking about understanding the mission understanding the mission understanding the world that you are going out to reflect the light of Christ to Isaiah chapter 60 verse 2 where we read said behold darkness shall come upon the world and gross darkness the people I'm just reiterating one or two things that we touch so that you follow the journey not in details but just a little here a little there because many of us were not around talk to me are we together so, gross darkness, the people. And I told us under the Holy Spirit that there are two specific reasons why we need to understand the mission. Jesus told the men that were following him, he said, which king goeth to war against another king? 
that does not first of all sit down to check what he has as per the contingent of his soldiers and then weigh you know the enemies that are coming against him or he's coming against the number of their soldiers and then see whether you have enough strategy enough manpower to confront the enemy the bible said that gross darkness shall cover the people the brokenness in the world or the if we are to use that word the broken world what broke the world actually is darkness and darkness is not the geographical night it is an entity it is a code by which people live the thing is 100 percent opposite the word of god opposite the light of god opposite the instruction of god gross one darkness is what is responsible for many menace and terrible things that you see in the world it is erroneous for you to run into fulfilling the assignment of reflecting light without understanding the mission many people failed in their assignment because of under preparation they did not take time to consider things that they ought to consider And I gave, while we were studying, we gave an example. The Bible said, we read the scripture and the Bible said, All the men of war are gathered with their sword because of the fear in the night. One thing that comes with darkness is fear. Confirm? Fear. If you encounter pitch darkness, gross darkness that is palpable, you will see that one thing that follows darkness is fear. I now ask the brethren a question. I say, so, people who live in darkness do business in darkness. What is the meaning? It means that they have no fear. The world that you are going out to reflect the light of Christ to does not fear God. You have to understand it, you have to note it. They neither fear God nor fear man. What intensity is that clear? Of light do I need to face a world that does not fear the God? I'm talking to them about. John the Baptist was a burning and shining light. Burning and shining light. He drew his light from fire. And he did that because he knew his generation. He said, you brood of vipers. You are animals. You stink. You have poison. Somebody that is carrying ordinary torch light, you will kill the minister. You will kill that kind of assignment. That person has no ministry among you. So John went for burning and shining light. You don't understand the mission. That's why you are talking your brother is not changing. You are talking your colleagues are laughing. The light you are trying to show them you don't understand the nature. You don't understand darkness. The way you are looking at me. Are you following me? Why are you looking at me like that? Are you trying to scare me? I want to tell you it will not work. I've seen more scary face than your own. It won't work. Can I confirm? 
Are, are we together, brethren? This is, this is one fundamental mistake. Terrible mistake. That even at the end of the day, seem to arrest the bearer of the light. Because of time. Secondly, I noted, we noted, that once darkness comes, all the domestic animals will look for shelter. Confirm? There is this kind of animals that come out in darkness. What is their name? Wide animals. Among them are nocturnal. Animals that have mechanism in their eyes to see darkness like a broad daylight. This is the kind of spirit that is inside men now. People that trade in darkness walk by the code and live by the principle of the entity. Darkness is a personality. It's a principle by which men live. Decisions people take. The way people run their life, run their marriage, run their business is what we actually call darkness. And what is controlling them? The spirit that trades in the dark is wide. Animalistic. That's where rape comes from. How can you? Are you sure you are prepared for this kind of work? We finished a meeting and four young boys came for counseling. And just as circumstance may have it, four of them had the same case. Individually, they are not brothers. Four different families. What's the problem, boy? He said, I, I have sex with my mom. I said, my ears used to pay me in the afternoon. I'm not sure that I heard you very well. He said, Daddy, I, I romance, I sex my mom. I said, I'm coming. What's your problem, boy? He said, I, I sleep with my mother. Four of them. And I want to ask you, <laughs> children teacher, teenager teacher, Jesus Christ went to Galilee again. Jesus Christ went to Galilee. Everybody say it together now. Jesus Christ went to Galilee. Can he handle this animal? Can somebody stand up and recite today's memory verse for us? Abraham used Isaac for sacrifice. Again, Abraham used Isaac for sacrifice. I don't blame you. You don't know who you are talking to. You don't understand the mission. That's why the children we breed from the church, if you catch them in campus, no, no sign that they went through our quarry. John was a burning and shining light. He went for that because he knew his generation. He understood them. One of our sisters, my father, shared with us, who is a teacher in a secondary school, went out to pick some banana and came back and saw two girls fighting. Young secondary school girls. And everybody pointed at one girl and said, this one looks for trouble. So she picked up her cane and lashed that one. Lashed her. And she put her hands in her waist. And was knocking her feet while the flogging was going on. When the teacher flogged and flogged and flogged, she changed position. 
when the teacher was tired, she went to the staff room and sat down, opened banana and was quarreling. I said, children of nowadays, and was licking her banana. The girl whom she flogged banged the door of the staff room open and walked in. Sorry, when you were in secondary school, do you enter staff room? Who born you? Children now enter staff room without knocking. The teacher said, how dare you? What impetus? Are you not afraid? She said, auntie, cool down. Cool down. I want to talk to you. What is it? She said, auntie, I came to tell you you are a great flogger she now looked at the teacher eyeball to eyeball and said is this not how you flogged last year and miscarried your baby at four months now you are one month two weeks four hours ten minutes three seconds pregnant you are flogging again auntie well done she walked out the lady, the, the lady lost, I don't know whether it's sympathetic or parasympathetic control. The, the two knees were knocking together. She said that, that only her husband knew that she was pregnant and she's not even sure that it was up to one month already. This one knew how many seconds. Some of the people you are teaching in class, Tunde is a boy. Tunde is a boy. When God comes to school, they are your grandmothers, oh. they are your senior. And there is no sufficient fire. You are just somebody who comes to church on Sunday and mumbles some liturgy. And then you go home and then you enter the wicked world. And you try to shine a light. You don't even sharpen. Light that has no intensity. Light that cannot cover even your family. Wild animals operate in the night. <laughs> Wild animals. <laughs> they operate in the night. How will you help them? Or are they not part of the people that Jesus died for? People who butcher human parts for business. I told the brethren about a sister who repented and came to us. Now a sister. She was a prostitute living in the brothel. She said, during my prostitution years, I have heard about 10 to 11 babies. We said, where are they? She said, ah, man of God. There is this native doctor who pays me. That's why I keep the baby. And people loved going to her because she removes birth control, no condom. So men loved her. At times she's with a customer. Somebody said I will wait for her. Darkness. She said I take him and I call him. If it is a boy, he will transfer 150,000. If it is a girl, 100,000. When I deliver any time labor comes, she will call. He will arrive. Push! And the baby comes forth. While labor is going on, the man puts a pot of water on fire. Push! They throw him straight inside the pot and cover the baby. Add some things. When he boils, they bring it out in the mortar and pound it. And scoop it. The, the native daughter will live with one small nylon. Eleven. Excuse me. 
This Jesus Christ you are talking about that you are not even very sure. Is that what you will use? Is that how you will confront? You, we don't understand the mission. We don't. We don't understand the mission. We look at people when we look at what they wear. We don't see beyond that. Paul said, we know no man by the flesh. No more. He said, what the grammar a man speaks does not define him. His packaging. A lady who's well packaged and walks missingly does not define this. You may find darkness thick enough to cover a nation in this girl. Let me go away from there. We have discussed that. So we join it from there. And quickly, John chapter 8, verse 12. John chapter 8, verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, Are we together, friends? I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. In John chapter 9, the same John chapter 9, the same John chapter 9 verse 5, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And we brought out four points. I'm just going to say quickly. You note it. It is from thence. It is from those issues. From here. That we now enter to begin to look at the lightning. How to lighten a man. Listen. Listen. You are not listening. Listen. How to lighten a man. How to lighten a man. How does God lighten a man? You see how we began to look at it. Number one, in John chapter 8 verse 12, the statement sounded more like a declaration. Confirm? Talk to me, brethren. Confirm. He said, I am the light of the world. In John chapter 9 verse 5, the tenor changed. It sounded more like an affirmation. As long as as I am in the world. I am the light of the world. So, I started by saying, men and brethren, don't be ashamed. Don't bite your tongue. Say it anywhere. The evidence and proofs are so much. Christ is the light of the world. I'm going to show you how. How does it work? It is in how it works that we are lightened. I, you are not following me. Brethren, are you following me? Those at the back, you are not talking. Talk to me, brethren. Are we together? Thank you. I am the light of the world. Now listen. When a man goes to school, there is this language men use. They say that he's enlightened. As though school is light. Eh? You won't talk again. When a man reads certain course or cases, people say, Kai. That lady is enlightened. By all means, go to school. By all means. But I want to tell you, Christ is the light of the world. I have seen men who read with hot brain living by the code of darkness.
all our academicians, nurses, doctors are currently writing ILS exam. They want to leave us in our dark times. How are they the light? Nigeria is in a pitch darkness currently. You can't deny it. The people whose brain are hot, three quarter of you here, you have written ILS. How are you the light? And then in our darkness, you are running. The confirmation is clear. What is holding our nation? Book will not handle it. The, please understand me. I'm not anti academics I read though. It's the Lord who asked me to carry my Bible full time. I'm just trying to put my feet without biting my tongue. I am the light of the world. You cannot, you cannot add to it. Wherever Christ is missing, he said, as long as I am here, it does not matter what you introduce. Okay, okay. Let me, let me say this again. I think I mentioned it yesterday. When a man travels abroad, he goes to U.S. He lives in the Euro. Does his masters in Paris. Goes to Dubai. When he comes back, we say, he's enlightened. That is to say, the culture and the exposure of U.S. is light. It's a lie. You see, your faces have changed. <laughs> but it does not matter. If you listen to God, you will know his truth. Truth is bitter, but it is better. It's not true. Paris is not the light of the world. You know, I gave you an example yesterday, brethren. You remember? Those of us at Anambra, I stay at Anambra State. We used to say, there is this adage we used to say, that Pitobi, when he governed us, Mr. Pitobi, the ex-governor of Anambra State, when he governed us, we used to say that he has only one mistake. What did I tell you is his mistake? Gov ex-governor will you be no? The man wrecked us. We shared our houses with those beings. When Soludo entered, he had to go to Lagos to have some dignitaries raise fund for him. That's the extent to which the man dealt with us. And Obi, Mr. Obi picked him because he was coming from abroad. So the man said, Kai, it's like this guy is enlightened. So he gave him support. And we entered darkness. Everything the man did everything the man left all the thing he carved out for us this one squandered it a proof that Canada is not the light you will come from Canada and remain a thief you will still live by the code of darkness we were suffering from hope it's just of recent to Somewhere around last month that we that we received liberty. We come to almost every junction. We stay two hours because the entire road into people's compound. We are sharing space with those beings. No single money. No money. So Ludo said that we should come and see that there is no money. That all of us should manage those beings for now. When I got home, I said to my wife and the brethren in my house, I said, you see it. The FCC came on the man. We were happy. <laughs> I told the people that were happy, I said, rejoice not. <laughs> I said, rejoice not. The FCC came on the man. And the next picture we saw in the, two weeks later was where he was drinking juice in coconut in Dubai. <laughs> 
He gave C to EFCC and left. That's the darkness we are in. I am the light of the world. Don't replace me with anything. Christ sat down with knowledgeable men, doctors of the law. Pharisees. To be a Pharisee, you need to know Genesis to Deuteronomy of heart. If they wake you like this and say Exodus 24, you quote, you have to carry it on your head. Before you are made a Pharisee. Jesus Christ in the choice of the father. Did not go through the four walls of their school. But when he sat with them. He wanted to show them what light was. They asked him questions. He answered. All of his questions. They could not provide answer. The Bible said. And they said. How no wait this man let us? Having never been to our school. Wanting to choose disciples. He left the military. He left the gurus. He left the intellectuals. And went to pick fishermen. light of the world if you remove me from your family and introduce machines you will still see darkness if you remove me from your marriage I give you time you will still wallow in darkness it will not be long either your husband wife or children or people who live in your house will begin to grow they will live by the code. They will bring the principle that gives Satan throne in your house. You might not me. You were not careful. You were not careful to show me. They brought a young girl to me whose uncle and dad spoiled with money. Every week they give her 200,000. Every week. The young girl said, I hate my father. He spoiled me. Every week, 200, 250, 200, 250, 200, 250, weekly. She said, so I began to look for what to do with money. I tried drugs. I tried, I, I bought anything. I, I have one room for clothes, one entire room for clothes. And none of them are clothes. All of them keep her naked. The man thought, <laughs> when I saw God, you see now, he said I was providing everything to make sure that she lacks nothing. I said yes. You did not provide everything. I am the light of the world. And when it was as if men wanted to argue it, he went a step further and said, as long as I am here, don't compare me. Don't compete it. Don't argue it. I am the light of the world. If you minus me, if you ignore me, you will grow up in darkness. Two. He said, he that followeth me, we are on a journey, so please follow quickly, quickly. He that followeth me, help me complete it, shall not walk in darkness. Now, now this is the we are entering the enlightening now. What puts a man in the light is not preaching the light. What makes light flow out of a man? It's not, it's not talking about it. You do not exit from the sheep of darkness selling men to eternal doom. You don't exit that sheep by talking about light. 
You talk about Jesus, you paste sticker. You think about him. No, 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 no. The primary issue is to follow. If you are not deliberate to follow the light, but you sing about it, beloved, you will sing and yet live in darkness. You will join the people who are slapping Christ on the face. You will join the, the number of preachers and Christians who talk so much about God. But when you lay hands on them, when you come to their home, when you live in their house one week, when you hear them talk, when you listen to them, if you catch them in the secret, the models with which they run their business and their career, when you come close, this man is walking in darkness. Look at the problem. You are talking about light, but you are not careful to follow the light. He that followeth me. So, do you know what he did? Every disciple he called, he will use one word. Follow me. This generation turned it upside down. God is calling you to serve him, to showcase his light. Ah. Have you entered theology school? Why theology school first? You want to go and know and learn about the light. What about following him first? So I've gone to theology schools to preach, to teach them courses, to preach in their graduations, to several, some will corner me. I said, Daddy, help me. I'm homo, homo, homo. Help me. I'm homo. I'm homo. Help me. I said, So, how did you come to graduation? What are we about to graduate here? He said, He said, Daddy, I just, I, I just sensed the call. He said, I should enter here. That's the problem. Enter here so you can learn how to talk about the light. Nobody showed you where to enter. To do what? To put your footprint where Jesus put his. You come to the junction of marriage. You find out where the light followed. You come to business, you find out where the light followed. You come to school, you find out where the light followed. Somebody insults you, you find out where did the light follow. Somebody is holding your thing in last song, you find out where did the light follow here. You are not careful to check that. Even in your relationship with your wife, you are not deliberate to find out where did the light follow? Where did it follow? You just cook up your understanding as a man and you put your feet and say, why? I'm the man here. Where did the light follow? A marrying us as his bride. How did he handle our excesses? You are not interested in checking that. One young man was in the mountain for 14 days, dry. Asking God for power. So a brother now brought to my notice and said, are we not going to help this guy? I said, why? He's doing something good. It's one of the life Jesus lived. He says, sir, this one has comma. I said, what is it? He said, I overheard his prayer point. I said, what did he pray? 14 days, no food. Father! Give me the kind of anointing that we make a move by coming, sir. <laughs> I want to a man to bow before me. Give me what 
we show him that he's just starting. 14 days. Seeking to demonstrate the light. But not deliberate to follow him. So you, you know what? Even if you are empowered, you demonstrate power. When somebody stays in your room for two days, they will hate Christianity. You are still in darkness. A deacon, a deacon had issue, you know. I just remembered it while the drama was going on. And by the way, this happy ending you saw in drama, you see, you see that is drama. I said, I will warn you when I come up. If you like, Go and go and enter something, and you will see. Cases come to my table, so this is drama. You know, I blame that brother who married the sister without womb. I blame him more than the sister. He didn't consult God. He picked that sister because she was fine. If you took time to consult God, you know, I told you Saturday morning. If you take time to consult God, God is not wicked. He will not hide it from you. Man, I wrote down a quaggy, I wrote a butterfly in your stomach. You won't, oh, me quaggy. Once you see us, you see, you see the waist, you see the chest, you see the nose, and then she just sings something in the church. Your love is. Amazing. He said, That's my wife. That's my wife. How is she your wife? How is this girl your wife? Powerful preaching is different from powerful living. Powerful singing is different from living powerfully. One has to do with practice, learning, tutorial. The other is a product of diligent following of the light. That's what keeps you in the light. That's what exists you, exits you from darkness. That's what enlightens you and gives your jaw the capacity to talk about light and it can break somebody down. It can affect somebody. It will have enough measure to turn a human being 360 degrees around. You are not just speaking about light. You are speaking from light. So what happens to your words? They are lightning. The words I said to you, he said they are spirits. They are life. When I talk to you, Jesus said, he said, I'm talking to you from light. What I'm saying carries an aura. It comes to your heart and unsettles you. It, it brings up things that you hid. Things that will bring you to doom. It will go there and wake all of them up. That is far different from preaching. So when I saw the drama, I said, let me just remind you. It's drama. They did that happy ending like that so that you will pray. This deacon, before I, I read another scripture, quick. this deacon, they brought his case to the church. He's a deacon, the wife deaconess. Though in their 30s, 40s. And he came with bandage. The deacon came with bandage. We said, what happened, sir? He said, I, I can't talk too much. 
one, he said, two, I know only half of the story. My wife will complete it. We said, okay, okay. If your wife knows the story, don't stress yourself. Madam, talk. She told us and said that she's not the one that called us. That the person that called us should start the story. So the man of God started. He said he was talking with his wife and all of a sudden the argument heated up. That's where we check light. The argument heated up. You know, he, he started looking for words with which to injure the woman. The woman was also looking for words with which to injure the husband. Why they fired at one another. All of a sudden, the woman fumed with fury. She turned and was walking away. The man dragged her. I said, how dare you walk out on me? At that point, all the scriptures are finished. Here, we will see whether you have a walk with God. Whether you follow the light. At junctions of temptations, trials, tribulations, deniers, persecutions, pain, seduction, we will know whether you follow the light. Church, you are not hearing me. We will know whether you follow the light. When it is time, whereby God points at his servant or points at the, at, uh, the brethren who do not have and say, give. We will know whether you follow the light. I mean God telling you, we will know whether you follow the light. And until we begin to do this, your colleagues will not listen. Bet me. I mean, you've been talking half a half a. At times, you even pray, they say you are making noise. That please, you should understand this is an office. It's just paining me that you people refuse to come since Friday. I don't have much time again. Because my heart, my heart is heavy. This generation is doing little or nothing. And so when he dragged the woman back forcefully, I said, how dare you walk out on me? The woman told him and said, honey, I like you. Even with this argument, I still like you. He said, for your own good, don't touch me again. He said, I like you. That's why I'm telling you this thing I'm saying now. Honey, I mean the wife was telling the man. She turned to leave again. He dragged her again. <laughs> he said, Pemeka. I said, I can't fuck one again. Now, yeah. When he dragged her the third time, he didn't know that his wife was a black belt holder in Taekwondo. He said the only thing he remembered was that he saw his wife near the fan and then had and he now woke up in the hospital. That the wife should continue the story. He just saw the woman with her wrapper on the head. He said that's all. He now saw that two days later he woke up in the hospital with some molars and premolars that were missing. He said, Edda, see my hand. Mama Wadika. You see it? Love your wife. Take care of your wife. Respect your wife. Talk 
is cheap. And the kingdom of God, 1 Corinthians 4 20, is not in words, it's in power. And power is in life. Look at the next scripture. Look at what he said. He said, He shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. So, light, power, glory of God is located in the life that Jesus lived. You cannot experience or exhum. You can't give out. Neither will you have the glory, the power of Christ. Whether to live above sin, to cast out devils, to heal the sick. You can't have that outside his life. Everything that the father gave him, he, he lived in a particular way to collect it. Everything that the father did through him, he lived in a particular way to exhibit it, to show it. To demonstrate it so anyone you want you follow the life pass the light and i started by touching two yesterday what was the first one i said eh? i can't hear you say it loud total surrender he became the author and the finisher the power that his name carries wherever you call the name of Jesus knees bow obstacles shift it came from a life what was the life he surrendered and thought it not robbery to be equal with God and accepted the choices the way that the father had laid for him many were not palatable I gave you examples such as asking somebody of the caliber of Christ the fear of the cherubims the light that lightens the heaven the glory the pillar that holds together the firmament the tore his glory like a garment from him and left it on his throne and compressed him to a seed and put the immortal in the womb of mortality the, the determinate council of heaven had an ex meeting. They said, did he agree? They said he agreed. They said we are not finished. Send him to be born in the house of a carpenter. Who will teach him how to knock the table? Now where is that boy? Jesus Christ. Chetam Sisinchi's name. Jesus in Anukwife he lacked obedience it was not the suffering of the cross that taught him obedience the suffering of the cross brought redemption it was the suffering before the cross that the bible was referring to by the things he suffered he learned how to obey men God learned how to obey men such choice he agreed during his birth all the renowned hospitals were free none had space for him and it was deliberate hospitals that had class and status the son of God did not find space in any so they brought him to where cows did moo. Moo. The chief cow was telling the other subordinate cow, he said, clear your sheet. Or guys here. Men rejected him. He said, you, hey, you, you're stable. Clear it. He said, madam, forgive our sheet. Deliver him here. The determinate council said, he agree they said he did they said okay the choice is kept going till it was chosen for him to die like a criminal with criminals you will never understand what it means to abide by these choices until you carry the kind of power Jesus carried even in his mortality having stripped him glory 
the droplets of divinity around him still call forth the dead. You will never understand. Until you are him that was given the spirit with that measure. Ha! You will never understand. Hmm? You never understand. Tell people, Mr. Excellency, Eba. That's when you will know that power intoxicates the glory of the world. How then can you handle the glory of God? And then he died by the criminals. They said, Did he agree? They said, Yes. Heaven said, From today, at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth, in hell, in Hades, in Abyss, shall bow. If you want to operate that, if you also want that, then don't take a non total surrender. It is light of life. It is a particular life that made this possible. You are not following me. Are you following me, brethren? And then we saw the life of meekness. You remember we read? He said, Behold, your king cometh riding upon an ass, the fall of an ass. And I told you yesterday, you remember what I said? What did I say? Kings, eh? Don't ride asses. Kings use chariots. He said, Tell the daughter of Zion, announce it, teach it. Tell my children that their king rode on an ass. Kai. Kings ride chariots, they ride on horses. He rode on us. Meekness. For I am meek and lowly. 11.29 March. And I began to tell you that the pivot that carries glory is meekness. Sir, you are too proud. Sir, you are proud. We can't correct you. We can't talk to you. Every time you look at your account, your bank account, all of us are riffraffs. Even the men of God can't talk to you. See how they fear you. They avoid you like white fire and you enjoy it. You enter your house, your children will urinate, even your wife. Oh, Biapa, oh, Batakwa, Una no Honia, Shia Maka, Allah Babu, if only the belly ever, only a good, oh, Biapa, and no Honia, and you love it. You love that you scare even your kids. You love it that you scare all of us. One man said he doesn't like me. I said, why? He said, I'm the only one who used to look at them in the face when I'm preaching. And I would just tell him anything. But all the other preachers, when they talk and talk and come near him, they say, we honor you, sir. We honor you, sir. So the Bible said, I said, I don't honor you. It is not my duty. God did not call me to permit you. The only thing that will happen is that when I'm going, you will write check. You will write check. That's the only thing. And the chile ke sila fo mesi. We pop down. Because I go and me and say, you took BSC, you took MSC. If you want me to come out, give me something. Years ago from campus. So, I'm ready to hunger. And because of that, I will dispense the truth. So that, that day when he calls me i said give us a report of your stewardship in my lap you want to put me in trouble fire that i collected from the land of the dead from the land of the spirit that's what i will come to the land of human and then bushel for your appreciation mm -mm. i follow the light 
That's not how we did it. They said, Pilate is coming to kill. He said, go and tell that fox. Go and tell him that I do work today and tomorrow I will yet work. Sir, my, you are too proud. Even some of the young persons with me here, the way you walk, you want to push us down. You pass your elders. And I told you yesterday that my biggest pain is that your pride is in your father's money, not even your own. Excuse me. Your king rode on an ass. Your king had access to divine provision but came to times he was his feeding was subjected at the mercy of women in the church only no 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 sick i see alien talk to me you know but these women we are taking care of oh no 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 see now i'm up here he may be in two days dry joanna he said yes ma mary is there he said let's cook for that I cook for him. You cook for six disciples. You cook for six disciples. Gather the cooler. Let's go. And before I pray, within the ten minutes I have left, another light another lightning is the life of communion what is the light what shows forth the light from whence diseases are cured what breaks down shrines we have gone for missions in places Kai. we have seen in his mercy what his power can do and the life for this light I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes. The, the access to this communion is hydra headed. Communion. I, I can't read many scriptures now. Communion involves a deliberate communication with Bible. Note that I didn't say quiet time. Because what many of us do as quiet time lacks communication. You mumble through as you daily guide. You scramble through it and that's that for the day. You didn't see yourself you didn't really read your Bible and your Bible didn't read you. Several of us that are sitting down, your Bibles are covered with the cobwebs of abandonment. It is neat today because today is Sunday. There is a spirit in the word of God I'm telling you the truth. Somebody came to me and said, Sir, I want to start hearing God. I followed this meeting and I heard you, you challenged me. You challenged me. You said that God told you and immediately you went to the girl. It, she, it was so. And you said God told you and you said, You said, I want to hear like that. I want to be spirit.
Mo. I said, are you sure? He said, yes. I said, go and read your Bible. I said, Sir, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I said, but that's what you're saying. You cannot hear God when your Bible is closed, whereas you have not heard him when your Bible is open. The practice of his voice begins with God pointing to your life from Matthew. Pointing to a matter in your family from Matthew. Addressing what you are about to meet in the office on Monday from Matthew. Addressing the issue between you and Mrs. Okeke. The issue between you and Mrs. Chidera, who you have not been talking to in church for the past three months now. God, through Matthew, addressing you and addressing that matter. Gradually. Even when you close Bible and somebody is standing in front of you, you can hear about this person ten years back. Communion also involves the art of prayer. Sir, how do we show light to a broken world with dead altars of prayer? You will see now. You say, let us pray in church. You will see some young girls here who will sit down. Let us pray. They sat down. I was at a kitty to preach. After the word of God, the power of God came down. When I said, before I said, let us pray, I saw a lot of old folks, 60, 70, 50, 40, older folks, they removed their shoe. I didn't know it was their pattern. They removed their shoe and kicked it by the side. I said, what's going on here? We are not Sabbath here. They said, sir, there are, there are messages that when we hear, we don't need stress. We don't need load to pray. My God. It was my first time of seeing people in that class. Roa, I'm telling you, in prayer. I now peeped and saw some younger folks. Some guys and girls who we are sitting there, J, J, they didn't want to sweat lest they spoil their mascara. See, I pity you. This world that you and I are in, you don't want to pray. <laughs> hey, you are not ready to pray. Eh? You will run your family in darkness. Satan will play Ludo on you. You will know when he kidnap your children. He will kidnap your son and dash him to Belial. The Bible said, for the source of Eli, we are children of Belial. I said, what confusion? How did children of Eli leave their father's son name and began to answer Belial? Hey! One sister. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. One sister... One sister, we, we met the son in a meeting. And after the word of God, he said, we are seven boys. Seven of us born again. Seven of us schooled. Seven of us did that while, whether MSc or PhD, I don't know the one he said again, abroad. Seven of us married by the grace of God. Seven of us have children. My uncle said, your father must be a disciplinarian, a man God has helped. He said, ha, our father died when the oldest was around 15. Old. We said, so how? He said, our mom is a prayer machine. 
He said, when our father died, men who wanted to help our mother were asking for her nakedness. She, she entered inside and shut the door. You are the husband of the widow. Asami. She prayed until strangers met her and said, I don't know what is wrong with me, but please manage this check of two million. She will bring it inside and keep her knees on his husband of the widow, dancer. It's not enough. He said that when they were in school, they were not born again yet. You will go to chase girl, your phone will ring. You pick the call, it's mama. Hello? Who is in front of you there? So they devised a new technique, a new scheme. Whenever they are going to chase girls, they will drop their phone in the house. He said what began to happen is that as one day he was, he was, he was nearly, he had begun to romance a girl. In his room in school, when the girl's phone rang, The girl picked, hello. My dear, how are you? Please give a mecca the phone. They gave a mecca the phone. Chuku a mecca. Oki niki ineme. Ozi ama mi bu witch. Ozi anambu. I will, I will, I will keep bewitching you. He said they came to a point. They told one another, let's follow, her. let's follow her God. Madam, off the word. We finish your home, sir. Sir, reduce, reduce activity. Pray. We are in a dark era. The cosmos is dark. Your department have forces other than Jesus that are seeking to reign. And their carriers are not joking. Pray. I would have shown you scriptures at times after praying. One day after praying, he came out and didn't know when he began to trek on water. Kai. We went to a mission. I shared with the brethren the other day. And we discovered every child in the mission belongs to SNY. No hospital. They don't have hospital. They give birth in front of the SMY, Wumili, the mother of the water. Push, she will just carry you and throw you inside one basin of water and call the marine to take over. So the first night, as I prayed for the laborers that came with me and asked them to launch in, they went in and every youth, every child, every teenager were crawling on the ground like serpent. The next day, we woke up around seven. I heard the hand of the brethren. Nine. We went two by two. I took two brothers. I went to SNY shrine. If you behold that place from afar, eh? We crossed the evil forest. When we were crossing it, some of the villagers went back. They said, Those your Nobody passes here and come back. I said, Brother, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. When we crossed that place, I went to knock in SNY's house. SNY. Followed back door. I didn't know she could jump fence. Kai, give me prayer, Grace. 
Baina kapapatea Rekete kumata latas I enjoy it, it's no stress That's the light That attracted so much for Jesus I say this finally One of our sisters years ago the husband, the man of God, he went to minister and was disturbing her. And he finished on Saturday and counseled people into 5 a.m. He was not to preach in the service. So he's, he called his wife and said, I would have slept, but we finished with vigil on Saturday. I can't set people into 5 a.m. He said, let me just drive home straight. About four hours drive. He said, let me just drive home straight away. Away. I'll meet you at home. He said, honey, I'm preparing something for you. Come. So the woman began to make stew for the man. The man drove off. Holy Ghost came where the woman was making stew. If you have not married yet, let me pray for you. May God give you a woman that has open heavens. Yeah. Look at the amen. Yeah. Eh? amen. That's how I survive. I have defender. My kids are stable. Because I married, they'll say, soldier, marry soldier. Police, marry police. Vigilante, marry vigilante. If you are a soldier saddled with burden, my friend, don't go and pick girls because you saw what they rub in their mouth. The sister said, Holy Ghost, please let me finish with this. Tube. The voice came back and said, Daughter, I said, Pray. She said, Lord, please. When the voice came back the third time, it carried her and slammed on the floor. Rolling from gas cooker to butter, from butter to cylinder, from cylinder. She was just, she was rolling her own kitchen for hours. It was the husband's knock that brought her out. She opened the door, still trembling. I don't know whether you have entered into that kind of realm where they are saying in Jesus' name we pray, but your mouth is still doing Even when it's time to summarize, the man picked up the wife and said, Honey, what is it? He said, Holy Ghost carried me. He said, Honey, it's because of me. Immediately I entered the car and little breeze touched me. I slept off. He said, I didn't know how four hours later I parked in front of my house. As the woman was doing shake papa broko baka, she was driving the car. God needed intercession to act. The man was holding brakes, sleepy. Drove four hours, John. Okay. Prayer order. No wonder. Nothing was difficult for Christ. Nothing. Nothing. Take a position. So much to show you, but let this word be enough for the wise. Some of you are experiencing serious darkness. Nobody knows. The pain, the sorrow that you cover with your blouse enough. Stop complaining. Let's pray. Wherever you are, the, the key prayer point now is this light that Jesus carried. You preach without prayer. You try to minister to men who are in pits without any groaning. In the next two minutes in this church, before I hand over the mic, wherever you are, can you pray?
that an endowment will come from above. Hey, power! In your secret. Young man, you can help your daddy and your mommy. You can change things. Abai. Leave your neighbor. Don't consider your neighbor now. We just have two minutes. Just two minutes. My ministry will die without the altar of intercession. There are things God wants to show me, but He wants me to come up higher. He said to John, You have written chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, but from chapter four is mystery. Come up higher. He said, The heaven opened and I heard a voice. Speak it to me out of the heavens. He said, John, come up higher. What we want to show you next, you need to journey beyond where you are. Everybody pray. We have a minute plus. We have a minute plus. I don't know. There's a woman here. The Holy Ghost is telling me that your son is in serious disease. Your son is trapped in a serious case. In a serious medical case. God said I should tell you that we need to an injection stop. There my power begins. If you pray, Ramos Italia. Ah, keep me in the light. Repa papa papa kamia. Abrantos kebetoras. The devil will do anything to distract you from prayers. He will use anything. He will fight. He will fight you. He will fight you once you enter the altar. He will fight you. Everybody pray. Less than a minute. Pray. Kai. Araba papa papa kamia. Elomias keperedet ka. Christus, Aleia, Ale, Asian Kemtikua, Remina Tara, Akabalata, Akabalata, Akabalata Kuria, Alembre de Koski Peretina, Asika, Prayer Energy, Prayer Option, and my bones, I sin cannot be overcome. Without the altar of prayer, it's not possible. Provisions cannot be assessed without the altar of prayer. Providence, promotions, protections. Another level in ministry comes in the altar of prayer. Exercise it, exercise it. You have a few seconds to go. Where are all these people with prophetic grace here? Open your eye. with grace for miracle pipe down the oil as he prayed angels came to minister to him I see you carry grace for healing you are there you are there by my left the power of God please come down here let your fire blow like a wind. Blow like a wind. These people want to die with the grace you gave them. Don't allow them. Nations are waiting. The Holy Ghost is telling me he wants to pick some of you now. Please help her. Siaka. Seen about four intercessors, two are in this role by my rights. Let the fire breathe. 
it on you. The fire. 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 Intercessors. You are the one we are waiting for. Mama, help us. Help us. Help us. You are the one. Help us. Help us. Higher. Please help, please help. I'm seeing a young man here. Oh my God, two of them. The Lord is putting upon you uncommon grace. He said this grace is not just for your family, it's for your community. I've chosen you to scatter the idolatry there. Wherever the both of you are, Kaba Takia, Alete Kuate Katia, Abate Kumsia, Lepetes, Lepetes, Akamti, Akantisia, Touch, Touch, Touch the both of them, Alla Kapatosia, Arete Tekeperetesia, Lift up your hands, Sekuate Kasia, wherever you are, Lift up your hands before I go, Sikatalaskia. Ask the Lord to open up your gifts. Open up your grace. These are enlightenments, enlightenments. Open up your gifts. Open up my gifts. Open up my gifts at this moment. Kalabratas. With your hands lifted up, lifted up, lifted up. Lifted up. My grace. There's a gift you gave me. There's a gift you gave me. Father, at the count of three, touch your people, please. Command the Abbaskia. Adelina Skapatoski. One. Abanero comes. Yakata. Two. Come me at Alatias. Three. Fire. Ayakaba. Move out. Move out. Please touch your people. Evangelists. Pastors. Doctors that will be uncommon. With injections, they will carry another power. With their injections, they will carry another power. Beyond their stethoscope. Kai, 